You would. Can you give us an update on where things stand uh, in the search and rescue operation? Well, we have a number of state and local officials uh, that are engaged in the search and rescue operation. Uh, preliminary reports are that uh, at about uh, 5.30 uh, last evening, uh, the Little Missouri River, which is uh, along this uh, campground, was at about three and a half feet. Uh, and uh, within 12 hours, by uh, 5 or 5.30 this morning, it was at 20 feet. So it was a very rapid flash flood uh, that inundated that area. This is a U.S. Uh, Forest Service campground. It's, uh, it's an unmanned campground in terms of, uh, of being a campground with... Uh, all the amenities, it's relatively uh, rural, and it's uh, along the bank of the Little Missouri River. And as a result of that, uh, uh, at this point, we don't have a registration for uh, the number of people that were out there, although there's still reports from uh, the Red Cross that there may have been as many as 300 people there. Uh, obviously, they're in the process of trying to determine uh, if there's uh, other people missing, and uh, they're in heavy search and uh, rescue mode now with uh, National Guard, state police, uh, parks and tourism people, as well as law enforcement, emergency management personnel. Is there an information, boy, that's a lot of people, uh, as many as 300 people uh, visiting that's a that? Preliminary, that's a yeah. preliminary but unconfirmed report from the Red Cross. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, sure. put a caveat out there that so far that's preliminary and unconfirmed. But you know, it highlights uh, the uh, urgency, I think, of the search and rescue if there were potentially that many people in this uh, campground area. Okay. Uh, Governor Beebe, is, is there an information center at, at this time set up where families can get some in, updated information uh, on the well, search and the, rescue effort? Yeah, the uh, Arkansas Department of Emergency Management coordinates uh, search and rescue activities, and uh, certainly uh, they can be... Uh, contacted for uh, uh, any information, but uh, the area is pretty remote in, in terms of, uh, and that's why a lot of people go there, uh, and in terms of being able to have any cell phone service actually uh, on site, it's really spotty because of the extreme rural nature of the area. Well, how will, the, how will this be efforted? I mean, how will this search and rescue operation take place? Are we talking about principally uh, from the air with helicopters? No, no, there, it, it's everything. There's, uh, there are helicopters, but there are mounted uh, sheriff's deputies uh, in some of the terrain with, uh, with horses. Obviously, there are, uh, there's heavy equipment, there's uh, police cars, there's uh, all sorts of uh, trucks and, and uh, four-wheel drive uh, vehicles that are manned by uh, various state and local agencies that are out there. There are people on foot uh, so uh, in terms of uh, how it's being coordinated, it's, it's virtually every aspect of uh, human endeavor uh, from the air or from the ground that can be uh, manned at this juncture.